Most common sizes used is the 2,200 litre BTF, 4.5, 9,000 litres, 14,000, and then the 23, which is the most common one of them all. You can also get bigger ones than those, but those are custom made and it comes with your specific requirements. You don't need different tanks for different petroleum products, but the ideal size would be one that you refuel on a weekly basis. To have an on-site storage tank, it is important to comply with all health and safety standards. The physical ones on the site will normally be your bund wall, as well as your fire extinguisher. There's then a certain amount of legal approvals that you also have, of which the first one will be that you need to submit plans to your local municipality and get approval from there. Then you're going to need to have at least an environmental management plan, approval from Department of Environmental Affairs, approval from NASA, and then you also need to get your fire department in to come and issue you a fire permit for your storage tanks. Firstly, it's a requirement of the SANS, the South African National Standards, that you need to have a bundle around the tanks at specific sizes and specific construction requirements. It is also there to ensure that there is no environmental contamination if any of the tanks leak or a spillage occurs. Secondly, it also helps that in the event of a spillage that is contained within the bud wall and there is ways and means to recover the product, clean it, filter it and that it can be used again. So it's not just a total loss on your side. One of the important things is to ensure that you keep water out of your tank. Unfortunately, water gets into your tank either with contamination or through condensation or rainfall. You need to ensure that you dip your tank on a regular basis with water finding paste. Water finding paste is a little bit of a form of glue that you put at the bottom of your dipstick. You push it down and it changes color the moment the, uh, it gets in contact with water in the middle. At Gasbed, we use the water finding paste before we deliver product to dip the tank and to see if there's any water present. Then after delivery, we will do the same to show the client that our delivery is not being contaminated. Another important thing is to consider is your breather pipe. It needs to be constructed in such a manner that when it rains, as well as washing the tank, that no water can enter the tank at that stage. The most common way of checking fuel tank levels is through what we call a dipstick. It's a wooden stick that you press down through a dipping hole into the tank to measure at which level it is. A dipstick is calibrated in accordance with that specific tank, so a dipstick is issued to a specific tank. We normally use white chalk to chalk the dipstick so that we can easily see till what level the petroleum product is on, on the stick, which will indicate what is the level of product in the tank. Refueling of a tank is normally for above ground tanks, runs through the pump on the tanker, which we call a PTO, which will then dispense from the tank, through the pump, through the meter, into the above ground tank through its uh, refiller hole. You can also refuel tanks, which is underground. There, it's normally petrol tanks. We will refuel with a gravity feed going underground into the tank. 